to really try going up here. We can, oh, we can go up here. This is looking promising. All right, let's give him a hand. There he is. Look, he's here. The great Yorva. Ooh, Yorva, I'm here to help you. Get out of my way. Gotcha. You can thank me later. Can I speak to him? You're gonna just ignore me? I've come here to save you and you just completely blank me? I'd be less surprised to find you amongst Hensel's mercenaries. You never did get me, you were them. I haven't forgotten about Flotsam. We shan't retreat into the woods just because Upper Eden has been conquered. Your dream's over, Jorvan. Never. Well, grateful as ever. <laughs> Ultimately, when we first confronted him, we thought he was on the side of the Kingslayer, which is why we opposed him in the first place. Even though he was being used. But... Oh! Bloody hell, I was slow. Move away, I'm talking now. Thank you, bye, see ya! Uh, but we don't have any particular reason to uh, wish him dead, really. I mean, let him crack on with his own business. Anyway, now I need to regain my bearings and ascertain which way we would go. Ah, this is the way up, yes. Through here. Okay, so this is the place to go. Philippa's shack. Oh! I bet you if I didn't save, um... The other. I'll see you in lock. We'd have got her. Oh! Look at his swagger. Prick. Don't think the king. Where are they? No idea. Tell me, or I'll. You'll what? Don't make me laugh. You wouldn't let me out of here alive anyway. A soothsayer now. Kill him. Oh yeah, just that easy. Like swatting a fly, is it? You big lug. We look forward to hopefully we get to fight him. One on one combat. Oof. Right, so if I survive this, of course, first. Two more. Oh, he's in, he's in, he's in here, he's in, look! Ah, <laughs> bring it on, Hensel! I hate the ones with shields, I hate them with shields, I hate them with shields. Well, I'll be damned if I'm letting this big lug beat me. Shoot! Got impatient there. <laughs> Take that. Ooh, what a killer blow. Toppled. For the king, for Cadwin. For the king, I don't know if you've seen, but your king seems to be on the floor at the moment. You looks like you failed him. Oh, he's alive. Uh, you can certainly fence. 
It seems I've met my match. You've won the battle, but lost the war. The city's in my hands. Ah. And you're in mine. For the good of the Temerian crown, Vernon Roach is prepared to do anything. If needed, he becomes a murderer and requires others to do the same. Bernard Lorido had only disdain for the world, gave it nothing but suffering. I helped Roach, joined him and his people. And I had to face another choice. Killing the commander of a forgotten trading post is not the same as killing a king. Oh, no. Even if both are murderers and rapists. Do we have a choice here? Can we actually choose either to let him kill him or not? Brennan Roach, Temerian and Cockerel of the Blue Stripes. What will you do with me? You know perfectly well. You won't kill me. You wouldn't dare. I'm the King of Kedwin and soon of Lormark. The North won't survive without me. I've won. Is he deluded? Do you know why I rushed into battle? Do you? I had to resolve it before Loch Muin. He's playing for time. Let's kill him. Wait. Tell us, King. What's going to happen in Loch Muin? A new world order. New borders. Everything will change. All the kings and princes of the north will be there. Do you know the old saying? He who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. Have the mages been invited? It's their idea. They want to revive the council and conclave. They want to regain their rights and privileges, their place in society. What tripe. I've outsmarted them all. I'll be the one to dictate treaties. I'll show them who's ruler. You had my men killed. Of course I had them killed. What do you do with spies in Temeria? Give them awards? None of those hanged were part of the plot. Only me. You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Your villainy knows no bounds. What do you call villainy? The fact that I've made Ketwen stronger than ever? You fool, I'm the last ruler of the North whom Nilfgaard must respect, and it will. Witcher, reason with him. Oh no. Although this is worth bringing up, because I don't think we totally believed Vess. And I bet you he's got a tale that might put things straight. Are murder and rape royal virtues of the New Order too? Every wench dreams of being ploughed by a king. And Vess? Did she complain to you? I thought she liked it. She squeaked like an unoiled hinge. Oh, now here's the choice. <laughs> let him go! Or let him be killed. What, for what reason do we need him alive? Do we, do we need him alive? Oh god, this is going to be quite the quite the plot twist here. Well, I say twist, not in a surprising way, but I think this is a quite a pivotal decision that we make here that will drastically change the outcome of things. And I'm now trying to rack my brains as to think as to the reasons why I should let him live because really, I don't like the fella. No. I'm struggling to think of a reason to leave him to live. I really am. Politics? Patui. I spit on your politics. I care not for politics. So if killing this man might scupper things in terms of the balance of power, then so be it. Who needs left though to kill kings? It's all yours, Vernon. I'm leaving you two alone. Squeaky hinge. Funny. Very funny. You wouldn't dare. Don't push him, mate. I think he might Enough do. Enough of this ploughing chatter. 
Someone needs to die. And I'll sleep better for it. <laughs> I am Henselt of Ardkareg, the last of the unicorns. I won't beg for mercy. Look me in the eyes. Go on! Take your revenge! <laughs> A flea has bitten a lion. Oh, what have we done? Feel yes. better? Only we know what happened here. Well, and Hensel. The sooner we forget it, the better. I'll erase it from my memory. Sheila teleported herself to Loch Main. Where there's Sheila, there's Letho. The murderers are gathering for their peace talks. We have to be there. Sheila to Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But Regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains. The remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muir, Master Dandelion? Your humble servant and chronicler was forced to flee the Pontar Valley, as he very well might have paid with his life for his heroic stand against King Henselt. And to allow oneself to be humbly slaughtered, consigning to oblivion this account of incredible events, would be a grave transgression against the arts and letters. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Disdain for politics indeed. One of the reasons why I slaughtered the king. <sighs> Loch Muin, chapter three. Has Radovid's messenger been by? Yes, sir. And what did he say? Tamaria cannot survive. The kingdom will be divided. The nobles are riled. Constable Natalis stands on shaky ground. <laughs> the loyal old Natalis will get kicked in the ass. How predictable. And they nearly reached an agreement, but without Foltest's daughter, it didn't work out. Perfect. Are the quarters ready? There is a little problem. Then we must look at this problem. There's no door. We can't lock her in a doorless cell. I can see that, you fool. Out of my way! Uncle Deathmo will cast a tiny spell on your little house. Versa Anem. We won't let that naughty Natalis get to you. <laughs> Clear up in here. This is Loch Muin, not a bloody pigsty. Is that somehow Triss in little figurine form? No, it's a little girl. Is that a Foltest's daughter? <laughs> 